Hey, Calvin and Life's Math Industry, and we are going to take a look at congruent figures. So, in the past, we probably learned a lot about, like, same shapes, same color. Well, congruent means it's, there are similarities, and they're the same between both of the shapes. Like, for example, these shapes are congruent because they're all the same. These ones are not congruent because even though they may be the same shape, they have different sizes by length and by area. So that's why this is not congruent. Wait, what are congruent figures? So we already know what the simple definition of congruent is. But what happens if we have these two shapes right here? How can we say they are both congruent? And how can we also say there are congruent figures? Well, if we say the triangles are congruent, you're basically saying the triangles are congruent as a whole. But how? The word figures is toward, well, the word figured is geared towards what is made up the shape, what makes the shape to be congruent with this and that. For example, we can say that angle B is going to be congruent with angle E. That can be reason number one. That's because that angle and that angle are both congruent. We could also do that with segments too. We can say that segment AB is congruent with segment DE. That can be reason number two. So, these two are congruent, but these are the figures that are proving that these two triangles are congruent. Let's list out some more. So, for the angles, we're going to use in black. We can also say that angle A, angle A is going to be congruent with angle B. Angle C is going to be congruent with angle F. So, A, D, C, F, and B, E. For the segments, we can say that B, C is going to be congruent with E, F. And we can also say, I'm going to put it up here, that AC is going to be congruent with DF as a segment. So, here's BC, EF, AC, DF. So, these are the figures proving that these two triangles are congruent and the same. Shapes that are the same length, same angles, same lookalikes. We can put that into a, an equation. So yeah, triangle, because these two are triangles. A, B, C is going to be congruent with D, E, F as a triangle. Now, here's challenge number two. Without the picture and only the statement, can we find the congruent figures without having this right here and the pictures? Let's see. So here's what's given us. Triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF. To find all the significant figures, we can use a rainbow to help us out. We're going to connect this A 
with this D, connect this B with this E, and connect this C with this F. The reason why we do that is because it, so it can tell us and it gives us a sign that those letters that are connected can tell us whether they are congruent and also can tell us which angles or sides of the triangle that's connecting to make it congruent. We can say angle C is congruent with angle D because they're connected. Angle A is going to be congruent with angle D. Angle B, yeah, angle B is going to be congruent with angle E. And we can say that. We can also make it into doubles and also turn them into segments. We could say segment AB is congruent to segment GE. Say segment BC is going to be congruent to EF. And we're going to put one more. Let's say AC is congruent to EF. DF. There are a lot more congruent figures we can find, but this is how we can find the congruent figures, just by getting the statement. So now we know what the definition of congruent figures are. We learned how to look at a picture and describe what are the parts that make up the congruent figures by angles or segments or the shapes itself. We learned how to find congruent figures off of an equation. And yeah! I hope this video has helped you understand congruent figures. Thank you for watching Top Life's Math Industry. Like and subscribe.